Well, we were all awake at 2.51 a.m. waiting for that countdown on Chandrayaan, but an hour before the countdown clock stopped, Pallav Bagla and Vishnu Shom bring you this report on what exactly happened. I-S-R-O. The countdown stop has been stopped. So there is a hold on the launch. You can see the countdown clock. It is still showing 56 minutes, 24 seconds for liftoff. The moment it all went wrong for ISRO in the early hours of this morning. Less than an hour before the launch of Chandrayaan-2, India's most ambitious space mission, the countdown clock for the mega blast-off had been stopped. Something was wrong. This was a worst-case scenario. ISRO had a lot banking on this mission. What happens next? When the hold was placed uh, at the time that you mentioned, for a minute there was disbelief and I thought for sure it's going to be removed. But as the second sticked by, it was clear that this was going to be a, a go-no-go kind of a situation. For experts from around the world, this was a reminder that the best of rocket science does not always work to a plan. Safety comes first before everything else. There was no question of forcing a launch. That was out of the question. The big worry now, when will the launch take place? The window of opportunity is very narrow. If it doesn't happen in the early hours of Tuesday, it'll have to be squeezed in sometime this month. Will that be possible? If the moon goes farther, uh, it will take a lot of fuel. It will take a lot of energy to reach there. So launch windows are those uh, very uh, small span of time when uh, the rocket is able to go to the moon. The big question for ISRO is now, where is the problem? We are told that the problem does have to do something with the cryogenic stage. That's the part of the engine. It's a very critical component. Defueling the rocket, removing all the fuel on board has been done. That's a tricky process by itself. But what happens next? When will the next launch window appear? That's a question to which there are no clear answers. With Pallav Bagla, Vishnu Shom for NDTV.